Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we are going to look at uh, buying a truck and then customizing it. I'm not sure which one to buy though. So let's uh, let's start uh, and visit the truck dealers. Okay, uh, so we have Mercedes Benz, we have Scania, Volvo, DAF, Iveco, and Renault. Um, let's go with Volvo or Mercedes Benz. I think let's go with Volvo there. It's in Italy though, in Verona. Okay, let's buy online. It's all digital nowadays. So, hmm, okay. So we have the classic FH Sleeper, Globetrotter, then we have the Globetrotter XL which is a very nice truck, then there's a classic Globetrotter XL, then we have uh, the FH Globetrotter XL which I think is a huge truck. Let's buy that, why not? Let's customize it. Oof, it's a huge ass truck man. I don't like the grills though. I think it's too. I don't know. I think it's too. Too shiny for my liking. Okay. Anyways, let's start with the cabin. Uh, the cabin is a normal default cabin. I want this truck to be more uh, towards heavy cargo and uh, hill traversal, maneuverability as well. These are the three factors which I'm looking for because, you know, a truck this big, you won't be using it to carry like cheap normal cargo right so it's all about uh the big ass loads so let's see so the cabin normal then for the chassis uh, let's see which one we want the six four by two is there which we don't want the six by two is okay there's a good maneuverability which is good we don't want the tack lift. We don't want the mid lift. Tack lift is tack lift is good. Uh, almost full maneuverability. The normal six by four, which is good, because if you see, the heavy cargo is also good in this, or the eight by four. I don't want the eight by four, so let's go with the six by four. Or the 8x4. I'm confused now. Okay, let's go with the 8x4. Why not? Let's go to the engine. Uh, we have options from 420 horsepower, 200, uh, 2100 newton meter torque, which is the D13C for 20 Euro 5. Uh, okay, let's go to 460. There is uh, 460 horsepower. There is D13C for 60 Euro 5. Uh, then there is a 500 horsepower option which is D13C500 which is good for heavy cargo and hill traversal by the way then if you look at uh, the 540 horsepower option you have the D13C540 Euro 5 it's all Euro 5 I think um, heavy cargo this is also good for heavy cargo Heavy cargo again. Then we have the 700 horsepower option, which is only suited for heavy cargo. It's not really for the normal one. Then you have the 750 horsepower. It's it's powerful. I mean, if you look at the top, it's 3,550 newton meters, which is huge compared to what it was for the earlier one. You know almost 50% uh, more talk but you know what I'll, I'll go with the default option which is uh, D16 G600 euro which is 600 horsepower or shall we go with the 700 horsepower now nah. mm, 700 it is okay let's take this one then moving on to the transmission we have 12 speed 6 speed 12 plus 2 12 speeds rotada then we have the Allison 4500 which is a six-speed retarder. I don't want the six-speed retarder because it takes away the whole heavy cargo lifting ability. 
Uh, I shift A D O. Ooh, look at that. That's amazing. For uh, 2,000 euros more, you're getting 12 plus 2 speed retarder, which is full heavy cargo, full hill traversal, and full uneven terrain. Uh, 14 gears, first gear ratio is 32.04, 3.4 differential ratio, torque is 3,115 newton meter, four axles, two power axles, and a retarder. Okay, cool. Let's go with that. Why not? Interior. Hmm. Um, let's look at the standard one. No, let's go for the exclusive one. Nice lime green. Um, you know, design on the seats. Even the dots on uh, the sleeper is light green. And there's a light green tinge on the roof as well, which I think is not there for the normal version. But other than that, it's pretty standard, right? Let's go with the green version, then the paint job. Okay, so this is where I think uh, this truck can evolve into something really nice. There's a custom Express Logic uh, livery available, but I'm not in love with it. Let's look at the default colors, Tommy Blue. Bronze Autumn, Sunlight Silver, Black Knight. Black is good, but I think uh, to see more of the truck's cuts and, you know, crevices and its figure, uh, we need something, uh, some, some different color than uh, black. This is a really nice livery, always forward, I love it. Beyond Borders, I think, highlights the European Union. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is also really nice. It kind of spreads through uh, the windshield, the wind uh, sides as well. Opportunities aboard abound, which is okay. But I like the the metallic gray, silverish gray color. It it kind of gives it a very very classy and shiny, but still mattish look. Shiny and mattish. It's not something you say normally in a sentence together but I think it's it's really nice no it's too much too plain too plain overboard white is nice but it's not it's not really my cup of tea wolf dark not really wolf light nope golden edge looks like a traffic cone right Special transport. This looks nice actually, but if it was not uh, this design at the front, I would have probably gone for it. Nice color. This looks really nice, this side design, but the front it looks like it's look horrible. This is nice. Fenrir. Oh, we have very limited options here. So I think uh, we'll have to go for. Why not the Fenrir? Looks nice, right? Okay, let's go for Fenrir then. Oof, this is where I think we need to be careful. I don't want the beacon. It's too ugly. Or shall we go for it? Let's go for the bonfire version. Howl two horns. I wish they had, uh, you know, the light bars in not in chrome, but in sing, simple black or something. Uh, this chrome is too much. Let's go for the simplest one. I don't want any fancy light bars. Oh, this is okay. Or oh, shall we go for that? This is all right as well. This is too much. This, uh, oh, that's overboard. Too much. Let's go for this one, Samurai. Uh, now I don't want. Uh, let's let's see how it goes. Let's do a couple of Hellas. 
Hella looks nice. Then some small uh, Lumen Mark 1s. Or how about something else? Yeah, let's see. Lumen Mark Yellow. No, Lumen Mark White would be fine. Alright, that's done. And for uh, the decal, decal, let's go with Drop Trotter XL or 750XL. Let's go with this one, the default one. The Weiser, I like the Titan, it's simple. Samurai, it's stealthy, it's nice. Viking, uh, this is okay. Sting. Let's go with the Samurai, it looks nice. Front mirror, strong, long, stock long. Main mirrors, I don't want the chrome version, I don't like the chrome version, so let's go with the paint version. Of course, our nickname. And the stock windshield frame. Front logo, obviously. Volvo, stock front badge, oh that's nice, takes away the, the shine a, a bit, we don't want, let's put the accessories here, the fog lights here so we can avoid a bull bar at the front, you know, it looks so ugly when you have a, a bull bar at the front. There's no fog lights available though. No, I don't want that. Let's remove it. Go down to the bull bar. These bull bars are so bulky and it looks ugly. I don't want any bull bars, man. Let's go with the normal lights here. Uh, let's go for light chrome or, or yellow chrome. Mm, that looks okay. It's not too much. Uh, front grill. Let's go with the stock one and see how it is. Not good. Plastic gray. Exclusive looks nice. Then uh, the stock version looks nice as well. The front bumper. Then we have the lower grill guard. So let's see. Uh, nah. The samurai looks nice. Right. Looks simple. Nice. Headlights. The stock, I think it's already seen on. Um, the door steps. Doesn't really matter much. Let's go with this one. The Ranger. Door handle. Uh, the chrome looks okay. Front fender, the stock only available. Let's go with elemental. I, I like that design. And for the front ring, let's go with Absolute Fury. Looks nice. For the hub cover, let's see. Hmm, this is nice. Oh, the cameras one looks really nice. Ford cover, Pacific Solid, Iveco, let's see for uh, Volvo. What is the Volvo Pacific? Corona, it looks nice. But let's go with the Volvo Pacific. Uh, doesn't really matter which hub cover hub you put on. Let's go for the chrome nuts. That's it.
the side skirts simple protection yep front rim front tire elemental front rim absolute fury gloss up cover volvo pacific chrome nuts if we could copy and paste Standard gloss, dark silver. Let's go with standard gloss. Uh, ooh, that's nice. Elite Rider Rear Edition, Red Edition. Sorry. Let's go with that. Uh, elemental standard gloss chrome elite rider oh that's nice man stock fender top stock fender to the snow the bumper available. Oh, that's nice. Let's see if we can just modify. Uh, let try the red. No, it doesn't matter. Okay, now move on to the interior. It's a very plain interior to be honest with you it's very old school uh let's go for no the paint that's fine now let's put our uh, cigarettes here obviously no blue lights why not i don't smoke don't smoke kids just for uh, showing it off that's all Smoking is a very bad habit. Uh, okay, that's done. Then let's put our uh, windshield sets here. Let's go with this one. For the center one, let's go for uh, the radar detector. Then the first accessory slot, let's go for uh, Volvo pennant. And on the right side, let's go for the World of Trucks pennant. Looks nice. Yep. Um, for the steering wheel, I have the standard, which is not good. I will go for the exclusive black. Nice. Um, let's go for Tom Tom Trucker. Not with the visor, without the visor. I don't see why you need a visor. And I think that's it. Uh, there's nothing more to do. So ugly these balls. Ah, okay, um, so let's confirm. So the additional price would be eighty five thousand five hundred ninety seven euros. The total would be three hundred seventy four thousand eight hundred and eighty two euros. Wow, for one truck. Okay, confirm. Looks sick, but I think it's overboard. But let's buy it. Why not? Let's move it to, uh, where do we have, where was I? I don't remember where I was. I think I was in uh, Finland, right? Tampier or Helsinki? Ah, Helsinki, there I go. So, okay. So we bought a new truck. Let's have a look at it in real life. Not in real life, but uh, while driving. <laughs> Let's go back. If we look at uh, driver manager. 
guys, I have a huge operation going on. So almost all countries, but I haven't bought uh, the new Spain, the new Iberia map yet. I need to buy that. Otherwise, I have a good operation going on. So around 270 garages, uh, sorry, 54 garages, uh, 270 trucks. Uh, seven days profit would be 444,000 euros plus. So a very sustainable operation going on at the moment. Uh, yeah, need to buy these maps. So. Mm. so idle drivers, you can see, I think I should be idle. I'm not doing anything. So I was thinking, cool. Um, truck manager. Hey, let's uh, let's drive. Let's uh, go adjust the seats a bit. In this view I like. Yep, that's fine. Now let's mirrors look fine. Adjust lights. Let's switch on all the light and increase also the dashboard backlight let's see how it looks from outside now 